The fundamental prediction of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution was that all life on our planet shares a common evolutionary past. But Darwin did not know the mechanism behind evolution. After Darwin's discovery, it took nearly a century to understand the underlying mechanism behind evolution. Darwin never knew about DNA. English has 26 alphabets. Binary system has only two, one and zero. But the genetic code of life has four alphabets. Every living organism on this planet has DNA in its cells, which is the recipe for every organism. The information in DNA is stored as a code made up of four chemical bases, adenine as A, guanine as G, chitosine as C, and thiamine as D. DNA is present in every cell in a double helix molecular structure with an external sugar phosphate backbone. In this structure, adenine is only paired with thiamine and guanine can only pair with chitosine as a rule. Cells reproduce through cell division. During cell division, DNA strands in the cell are also copied. The double helix of DNA breaks in the middle and two strands become separated. The two separate DNA strands are incomplete. DNA replicating protein attaches an adenine opposite to thiamine and guanine to chitosine to complete the double helix once again, which becomes part of two different cells. Now we have two complete strands of DNA once again, which are nearly the exact copies of each other. But as I said, these copies are almost exact, which means that some copying mistakes are made, known as mutations. And as the DNA changes through mutations, the organism changes because DNA tells how an organism is made. These changes can be harmful, neutral and beneficial. Most of the mutations in DNA are either harmful or neutral, but rarely do beneficial mutations also happen. Harmful mutations put an organism in danger and reduce its chances of survival and reproduction, thus reducing the chances of survival of the DNA that went through a harmful mutation. But on the other hand, beneficial mutations provide a greater chance of survival to the organism, thus increasing its chances for reproduction, ensuring the survival of its mutated genetic code. Evolution takes millions if not hundreds of thousands of years through this process. Evolution through natural selection is a gradual process. But throughout billions of years of Earth's history, it has provided us with a remarkable diversity of life on this planet. The genetic mutation that we have explained here is a point mutation. Still, there are many other types of mutations that we will discuss in other videos on this channel. All life shares the genetic code in form of DNA. This code is organized into different genes. Genes are long sequences of DNA that define a specific trait of a living organism. All life on our planet share at least some genes with each other. Even bacteria and humans have common genes that perform some fundamental functions in our genome. These genes prove that all life on Earth is related. We and bacteria both inherit these genes because we had a very distant common ancestor which lived billions of years ago in the past. Human beings have genetic similarities with all living organisms on Earth. We share more than 98% of our genome with chimpanzees. Still, we have 23% genetic similarity with even yeast. The organisms that share a common ancestor with us, like the chimpanzee in the recent past, have a greater genetic similarity. But the further in past we go, 
the more genetic similarity reduces it reduces from mammals reptiles fish and multicellular organisms to single cellular organisms it falls to 23% with yeast with whom we shared a common ancestor most probably billions of years ago don't forget to like share comment and subscribe you can also support scientanium by becoming a patron the link to become a patron is in the description of this video